Hi, I'm Dan. And I'm Lauren. And today we're going to make a quick demonstration video to show you how to use MicroFrame's Timecode Sync Masters to sync up video for multiple cameras. Today we've got a GoPro, a drone, a DSLR, and an iPhone. Then in Adobe Premiere Pro, I'm going to walk you through the process on how you can take the footage from every single camera and line them up frame for frame. Because it's nice outside, we'd rather be outside playing than actually working, we're going to get on the roof and drop a watermelon off. So I'm going to have the drone and the iPhone up there with me. And I'll be on the ground with the DSLR camera and the GoPro. Obviously for this kind of shoot, you don't actually have to have the timecode sync master, but this will help illustrate how you could use it in a real world situation. So the first thing we're going to do is take one of the, doesn't matter which one, but take one of the sync masters from the timecode out, and we're going to go timecode in to the second sync master. And then in just a few seconds, they're going to sync up, and then I'm going to take one of the time codes up with me. And I'll have one on the ground with me. And because the sync masters stay in sync for up to 12 hours, the one on the roof will match frame for frame with the one on the ground for the entire shoot. All right, let's get started. Hey guys, this is Lauren with Microframe Corporation, and I wanted to take some time today to show you how you can incorporate the Timecode Sync Master into your film shoots so that you can streamline your post-production workflow. So your first step is to import all of your footage, like I've done here, and then go ahead and select one of your clips and drag your playhead over to the very first frame of the shot. Now the first frame of each shot that you take should have the Timecode Sync Master with the timecode rolling. That is a very important step that you can't skip. So once you have that first frame shown, go ahead and right click on your clip, come up to modify, time code. Now our goal is to get your beginning time code match the time code that you see on the sync master. So we'll just enter in the time code that we have. And you'll go ahead and do that for each clip. Now once you've modified all of the time codes from your clips, I want you to find your earliest clip. Now what I mean by your earliest clip is the clip that has the earliest time code on it. Now for our shoot, I know that that is the shot that I took with our Canon 6D. And so what I want to do now is I want to take that earliest shot and drag it onto our timeline. And once we've done that, our next step is to get this time code of our timeline to match the beginning time code that we see in our earliest shot. And the way that I'm going to do that is come down to our timeline and right click and I want to change our start time. And just like in the last step, we're going to enter in the time code that we see in the very first frame of that clip. And it modifies your time code. So if you were to use your keyboard and go frame for frame using your arrow keys, you'll see that this time code and this time code stay matched up. And so the benefit of this is I can now come to any clip that I have and drop in any time code that I want onto our timeline. So if I want to put this shot into our timeline, I just copy, paste, and it takes me right to that time code. So then I can come, put an in point and an out point, drag and drop my footage. And for this clip that we have taken with our GoPro, I want to find the moment in time that our watermelon hits the floor. So I'm going to scroll through until I find just before that moment here. So I'll put an end point there and I will copy and paste and then I'll drag and drop this to start right there. And so using this method, I can easily navigate all of my footage and find specific moments in time that are important to the story that I'm trying to tell with my footage. For the purposes of the video that we've created here at MicroFrame, I'll be using this method with the timecode sync master and modifying the timecodes to line up and sync our videos to the watermelon drop. And so after this video, you'll see the end result and I hope you enjoy it. 